all the years? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel older. I feel a lot older. Uh, I feel I was now like 30 when they were born, so. Um, yeah, it is. I mean, it is different, but you know, it's, it's fun for me to go back and, and, and you really go back to learn the teaching, go back to the, the really the fundamentals and being very descriptive for the kids to learn the base fundamentals and all the things they have to learn from the start. You know, it even helps you with the older guys that were here to go back for them to really learn the concepts and schemes and, and how to, for them, how to learn. That's the biggest thing, not just, you know, it helps them in school, helps them everything. you gotta, you got to figure out how you learn and break everything down so that they can learn in a proper way. I think we talked to you last year, you had said that a lot of guys had bad habits. Is that yeah. at least one of the upsides is that you're having new guys? That yeah, they just don't have, I don't know what habits they have. You know what I mean? So they, the best thing, they're they have. They, they they're trying to, i got to break them a little bit of their high school habits. So to me, is again, here's what it is, and they're, and they're getting better. I think we had a good day today. Uh, which to me is, is progress because we're still installing stuff. But you're in day four, so you see some of the things to me, like I say, being coachable. You made a mistake on day one, you kind of correct a little bit on two, and then three, and then four, it's getting better. So to me, that's the positive walking out of today is that we, we made progress in a lot of ways. What's the potential of the unit? I think it's very good. I, mean, I think it's very good. We'll see. We'll see. I think to me, we're four days in, but I mean, they have it because I think the one thing all of them are, they're all eager to learn and they're all learning. I mean, they're all getting, again, making progress in day four. You know, again, there's, there's going to be a dip somewhere here again. But to me, making progress as far as you see they're taking coaching in from yesterday's film to today, you see the progress of tomorrow. we got to get better in tomorrow's film to walk out here on Thursday. And it's got to keep going that way through spring and obviously through the summer. Is it hard to gauge sometimes when you're going against your own guys? Well, it's hard to gauge. It's really, sometimes it's hard to gauge because installation. You know, your day four, you're installing. This is our fourth day of installing new plays. So everything's new. So it's just trying to figure things out. So as it as the days start going on, there is some turkey carryover from yesterday. So some of those plays they've heard now two days in a row. So it's, okay, I got that play. Which is good. So the new plays got to get corrected versus different looks. So again, you, you see the progress. That's all I'm looking for. Brett Heggie's guy's got some starting experience, but this really is first spring to get healthy. What have you seen from him? Again, I think the first thing I've seen from him is good leadership. You know, that started really in January with him being a leader of this group because he is a. I mean, he started a bunch of games two years ago, played back and forth between between being injured last year. Um, but you see the leadership, really, him and Stone and Nick Buchanan. You see them taking the leadership role and, even, and Gene doing even more of it. Um, and, and you see Richard Garage and, and Chris, who have only been here a year and are still freshmen. But you see them taking ownership with the, the four high school guys that are here that I mean, don't know if it's blowing or stuffed right now. So they're figuring it out. They're, they're doing a great job just because they're, again, they're getting better and progressing each day. And I also care about getting out of here. For those guys to get out of here with fundamentals, having a little bit of understanding. Is the development of the offensive line going to be the key to the offense? Yeah. Not to put it is? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's, it's, always, it's always, no matter what it is, it's always going to be. Um, and for us, to me, us to develop between now and, and August is going to be huge. And that to me is, again, the first thing I need is leadership. And I think that's the one positive you see, like I said, Brett Heggie and Stone and Nick Buchanan taking leadership of the guys around them where they're not, put, oh, well, these guys are all fresh and we're here. They're taken as a collective group to when we're doing them. When they do the skills and drills on their own and I'm not there, they're taking over the leadership. They know the drills now because they've been here for a year with me. They know the drills so that they can even correct the young guys on what to get done. Are you putting that on them? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's always on them. I mean, to me, I'm gonna, once I walk on the field, whether it's Saturdays or practice, once Saturdays, once I'm down on the sideline, once they go, there's got to be leadership out there. So to me, it's absolutely 100% on that. But I'm it's, saying putting that on the offensive line, like, hey, guys. We have to. Your I mean, development is going to be critical. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And is that, I mean, whether it was last year, this year, 10 years ago, or five years, it's always on the offensive line. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? That, that's not going to change. So to me, on us, and again, there's part of it. I mean, as we go, there's guys that we have veteran positions, that there's things we have to do to put them not all onus on them immediately, but to me is help them get along until we can progress until we, we catch up to everyone else. Is it a little bit of a luxury to have a, a returning quarterback like Felipe back there? Always. I mean, I think him and, him and Emery, again, they've both been here now in our offense for a year. That, again, there is leadership there that they've been through the system. The one thing is I have Nick that's really been there and Brett and Stone that haven't had the reps. But you see the receiver group. You see the running back with Pete Ryan and Pierce. There's guys that have been involved in the offense for a year. So they have an understanding of, like we talk about, learn what to do, how to do it, and why you're doing it. Those guys are really at the end to the why. Where my guys are at still the what's and why's, mm -hmm. the, the how's and why's, and the freshmen obviously they're just figuring out what to do. What are, you your, know what I mean? what are your impressions of Ethan White and, and what's really his potential right now? Good. Well, I mean, we'll see. I mean, I hate saying anything in, in day four. I think you just see they, they have the ability. That's one thing they have the ability, they have the learning. So it's just catching up to speed and getting the game to slow down for all those kids. I mean, even the redshirt freshmen get the game to slow down. And that's just going to be them film study. And just constantly, like you see them out there working, happen, working there after practice to work on the little things they need to work on. How much faster up. do you guys want to play? 
in terms of. I mean, tempo, you guys are going to be. Uh, we'll we'll change that. it up both. I mean, we'll change it up to do what, you know, again, what's going to be, what's going to help us win games, which could be if we got to huddle, we got to huddle. We got to go really fast and go really fast. So to me, what's going to get us to win a game is going to be all, and that's usually a game by game situation. Have you ever had this many early moments and thought once? Uh, was it four? Mm -hmm. I think three's the most. I'm trying to think, go back here. Last time, Marquise and Michael were two. I don't know if there's a third one. Maurice Hurt came in, I think, that same year. So there's three that year. Might have been three that year. If I can remember. After that, I think I've had two or three each year. It's never four, but only four. So I'll get, I'll get grayer by the end. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 11 offensive linemen you signed in the last year. Is, is that really kind of what's required in the SEC, considering how many guys? No. You I'd ideally like to be four a year. You know what I mean, but you got to, I mean, like anything being here, you got to catch up and just take more just to, to, to balance the numbers to be at the end. We look at 15 to 16 on scholarship. So when I mean, you're down the numbers, you're down the numbers. So you just got to take them now. You got to be always like to be three to four a year just so you're getting the freshman, sophomore, junior class, never to be zero and eight. Because if you get a zero class, you're going to stare down the barrel of at one point coming up to taking six or seven again. But right. we got them. Let's go. Do you notice improvement with the offseason buy in? Yes, I think it, you know, as a team. You know what I mean? Because last January, you go back to last January, February, it was, what is going on here? This is how we have it done. So you see the kids that have been in the system, they know what's expected. So it's now, okay, we know what to go. It's not everything being scared walking in. So you saw that from January, February, just competing and going faster and playing harder. And you see the leadership come on a lot of people. Instead of everyone looking around going, who's going to lead this? No, you saw that, whether it's P. Ryan, whether it's Felipe, whether it's, you know, Emery that had been through here, but it's Brett, Brett Hagee or Stone that, Okay, go so they can lead younger guys to, to step up to what they need to do. The expectations are the standards there for what they have to do, so they know what the standard is. So you got to hold everyone accountable to it. I know you don't have a starting unit right now, but uh, the five guys that run out first, I think Delance is the one with the least experience in the game. Time Probably. Or whatever. Can you talk about him and why he? He's got. I mean, again, he. I think he. He. He's had. He's had a pretty good four days of all the people just improving and mm -hmm. getting there. I think he finally, you know, last year, opened his eyes to. I got to start doing the things correctly. I mean, he's got all the ability in the world, athletically, and all those things, but just the little things he's got to finish up and just bending and playing on his, playing with his feet and doing the base and all those things. So you've seen, I think, even going back to January to now, he's made great strides in terms of improving all those little things. Physically, what, what does he what does he? He's athletic, he's very athletic, and great feet. Great feet, he's got power. He's just got to learn to play with power and playing lower and playing his legs and playing upper body strength and doing those things. So it's just learning to him and Stone both to bend at that edge position. Tyler Jordan was a guy for you guys last year to play multiple spots. Yeah. Do you have some guys this year that you feel yeah, like? Yeah, I mean, Chris and Brett can do that. I mean, Chris and Brett can both be centers. They, they, I, mean, I haven't put them in snaps yet, but they both snap. And, I mean, I've been guards, I and mean, Chris has played some tackles. So, I mean, a bunch of guys I haven't yet just through installation. As we get towards the end, I'll start playing with some guys just to do different things because, again, I'm going to try to get, I mean, get eight ready for a game. So, I've got to have – someone's got to be ready to go at different positions. Do you have any sort of timeline for Noah Banks' return? Oh, uh, no. That's, I mean, that's medical. So, I don't – you know, that's something we got to clear to make sure he's healthy first. There's nothing I'm going to put in a situation where his health is A number one. So when that comes back, and he's, 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 he's progressed very well since, you know, since the end of the season. So to me, just doctors say you can go, go. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's and that him and his family, his doctors, and we'll sit down and talk. And just once he's healthy, he can go. That's good. That's good. Thank you.